Hello Taurus! Welcome to your general reading for the month of May. As usual, I'm going to read the coffee cup and I'm going to clarify with two decks, of course, the tarot deck and the playing cards deck. A few moments to look into your mug. You are very afraid because of a situation that makes you be a lot in your mind. Your mind is like on wheels and running fast. There are hundreds of thoughts and hundreds of parts of this situation that you think about and that all this action happening in your mind is panicking you a lot. Um, I don't know what's this situation about but um, you are a bit low energy it's very complex what your mind is thinking of it's a complex situation it involves many people um, and yes you are afraid for this you um, either all this situation is for a new beginning in the work area and yes, it involves many people or you have uh... or your future depends on too many people. I don't know. Let's look into the house area. And uh, by the way, we go further. We will find more details. In your house area, uh, it seems like it's quite beautiful energy. That's why I tend to think this is a work-related uh, situation because the, the house area, it's very clear, very beautiful. You have a smiling person in your house. It may be you, it may be your partner or someone from your family. Um, you have divine protection. You have um, um, maybe... Something, an event will happen in eight points, eight days, eight weeks, a day of eight. Uh, and it's an event um, involving someone whose name starts with NY. Um, yeah, that eight again, something will happen in that those days, in, in that day. Um I see you uh, thinking about commitment with a person that you are involved with. Um, yeah, this commitment may happen in eight points, eight days, eight weeks, a day of eight. Because I see you and your partner thinking about commitment and this day of eight. Maybe you, you and your partner think about... Um, taking your, rela uh, your relationship to the next stage. Maybe you've been together, but uh, now you're getting engaged. Maybe you've been engaged and now you're getting uh, married. Um, but anyway, it will be something important. And uh, you are divinely protected. You will receive some news. What's happening at work, it's uh, influencing your uh, life at, in your house also. Because you will have some stressful periods of time and some... Um, um, periods of time when you will be um, overthinking this situation from work. Uh, in the middle of all this, I see a celebration, I see a wedding. So I, I, I deeply think that you will take your relationship to the next stage. And uh, yeah, In regards to the future, I see I see a commitment, an official commitment with a person whose name starts with an F. Maybe the name of your partner. I see um, this event being assessed by uh, an official person. 
I see the eight points again. I see um, also in the future some um, news, some news in regards to a new beginning. Maybe this is the new beginning that you have here in the bottom of your mug. Um, it involves a person whose name starts with an A. Uh, but the energies are way better into the future in regards to this new beginning that they are in the present. Uh, maybe there is a situation in which you have to make a huge change. Maybe you change jobs. Maybe you go through some rough moments with your business or something. Uh, I think that the worst part is your mind, not the reality. I mean, I guess in reality, I, I feel that in reality, the things are not as bad as they are in your mind. So if you have the tendency to have negative uh, scenarios, uh, try to give up on those because they lower your vibration and your energy and uh, don't help at all. Because um, what I see into the future is beautiful energy, beautiful vibration, and uh, I see this new beginning. Be careful because you have a cat into your future in this new beginning uh, related to work. A cat that is uh, talking some um, un untrue words, dishonest words. And it's the, the, this, this cat will talk a lot. Um, and as if you've watched my, uh, my previous videos, you know, the cat is a fake person, a fake friend, and you have to be, a, not to pay attention to this person, but not to let the, what this person says influence your mood, your life, your well-being. Okay, let's shuffle a bit the cards and see what is going on here. love for a king of diamonds or with a king of diamonds or maybe you are the king of diamonds uh, king of diamonds it's someone with um, maybe a few extra pounds or or with blonde hair let's see It seems like you may be you may be the the knight of hearts light brown eyes light brown hair young um, this may be your partner or this may be you um, doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman you are leaving behind uh, King of Suits. The King of Suits is a man with blue eyes, green eyes, or a state institution. And I, with this state institution, you have tears, good words, um, joy, and you are leaving all this. Maybe you've been into a job where you've had uh, this situation. Now you have to leave and you have these tears, this this mixed feelings, this 10,000 thoughts and all that. The place where you will move, you will have, first of all, lots of people. But you go there with very grounded energy, as the Ace of Suits is. Uh, karma, destiny, marriage, uh, life, sit a situation that influences your life forever. 
So very grounded energy. You go towards this crowd of people. In the evening time, maybe you will go in the, the afternoon to sign a contract or something. Uh, you go there for a big gift of money or for a possibility to increase your income considerably. And you go there um, with, um, you will receive there a, a huge news. So this is what you have in front of you, according to the playing cards. Let's shuffle the tarot deck and see what we have. One card for your energy, one card for the work situation that is tormenting your mind so much, one card for that relationship that I saw here. Well, you are in the energy of the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is disappointment, lost, hurt, sorrow, regret, depression. Well, I can understand it watching the bottom of this cup. But on the other hand, the work situation that you are so tormented about has the energy of the Emperor. Order, order structure, authority. Um, ownership, autonomy, um, this this workplace or this situation that you are in, in, it's in a very honest and good energy. Um, the uh, energy of your relationship, of your love relationship is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is... Um, It's living, moving on, abandonment, um, retrawal. Uh, I don't know what's going on. We'll clarify these cards. Let's do that. Because uh, So, two cards for your energy. Two cards for the energy of the work situation. And two cards for your love relationship. I don't know what to think. I, I mean, I feel like what's really bothering you is an ex-love situation, an ex-partner. And it's possible that you've worked with that partner in the same place. And that's why you are changing jobs. Um, you might have been in a love triangle with fashion. This is the way I feel this situation. Uh, in regards to your job, you go into uh, solitude and you meditate a lot about this. In regards to your love situation, this is the energy of the past. You've been through loss, abandonment, uh, separation and all that. And now you move towards a new proposition. 
uh, a new beginning um, new mental stimulation truth willpower um, and you go with the energy of the justice and going with this um, energy um, you go with fairness with justice with balance with um, um, taking your time and weighing your options um, seeing both sides um, um, being having integrity being honest um, trying to find the middle middle path and um, this way you will evolve in this relationship and you will both be the strength um, and the the card of the strength is inner power self-control control calm um, taming uh, endurance uh, willpower <laughs> and as i always say uh, the uh, the strength comes with the sign of the magician and when the the this card represents um a relationship it means that in this relationship you can manifest whatever you want and this is um that kind of relationship that will heal through which you will feel stronger you will transform you will feel uh supported you will have an equal give and take even more now coming with the justice by its side. So this is going to be a beautiful relationship for you in which you will evolve and you will both receive what you need. Most of all healing. And uh, yeah, now it makes sense if this is truly the situation for you. I mean, if you've worked with someone that you've had a relationship with and you've had a ugly ending or uh you've been in a, a love triangle and now you want to get rid of this person and uh, this situation took you through heaven and hell in the same time well i understand why you have this ten thousand thoughts in your mind uh, and you're so um low vibration and so stressed but um all this will be in the past this is what the future will bring to you um this is all I have for you, beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed my reading, and I'll be waiting for you for our next reading. Bye-bye.